This video looks at how to solve an inequality involving a fraction. But part one asks us to show a result, which is that x squared take x plus 2 is bigger than 0. Now there are lots of ways to show this, but one nice way is to complete the square. Now if I were to put an x, there's a minus 1 next to the x there. So if I halve that and get minus 0 0.5 and put a square, and this expands to x squared, take away 1x, plus 0.25. So I must add an extra 1.75 to make these two expressions equivalent. So if I expand this, they're the same inequality. However, this part here is a square, so that's always bigger than 0. And 1.75 is also always bigger than 0. So therefore, the overall answer itself must be bigger than zero. So therefore, I've shown the required result. Now this is useful because I can use this fact to then solve the inequality. Now because I know that the bottom of this is always bigger than zero, I can times up by it without affecting the direction of the inequality. So, this tells me that 2x is greater than x bracket x squared minus x plus 2. So again, because this part here, as shown, is always bigger than 0, I can times up and not worry about the direction of the inequality. Right, if I now expand this, I get an x cubed, a minus x squared, plus a 2x. If I then rearrange it by taking 2x from both sides, the two x's cancel off, and I get 0 is greater than x cubed minus x squared. Now this can then be factorised to give me 0 is greater than x squared x minus 1. So I must solve this inequality. Now to do this, I consider the graph. Now we know that there's a root at x equals 0 and x equals 1. So there's my 1 and there's my 0. Now it's a cubic graph which has the sort of a typical S shape, but there's a repeated root at x equals 0. So the graph will come up and will reflect off the axis at x equals 0, then come back up again at x equals 1. So this therefore is a sketch of the graph y equals x cubed minus x squared. Now the question says is when is this graph less than zero? So for what values of x is the graph below the x-axis? Well the graph is below the x-axis here and here. Then back up again and up to here. So there's two distinct regions. When x is between 0 and 1, and when x is less than 0. We can't include 0 itself, because that is where the graph equals 0, and this is a strict inequality. So for these values of x, the graph is below the axis, and this therefore solves the original inequality.